Hello, welcome back to Just for Fun. Our, if you remember, we are making a camping picture. This is what we have so far. And this is what we're gonna make. So if you can, you're gonna get a dark purple. And you're a white. Get, oh, so you're gonna mix some dark purple and some light purple. This is what the dark purple should look like and this is what the light purple should look like. Or just any purple um, mixed with dark purple. And now we need a little more white purple. Light. Light purple. Because you can't have it too dark because that's because that ruined my painting yesterday and that wasn't fun. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it was fun for you, but for me it wasn't. Well, I hope it wasn't fun for you. Yeah. That would be rude. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make, uh, we're just going to start by making a single line. Um, and it, it, when you make that line, it's not going to look that great. It's going to look like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of the light purple. And it's kind of like stitching something together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take um, your tiny brush. You're going to get a bit of paint on it. And now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of like stitch it together. Make the dark purple and the light purple kind of connect. Excuse me, David. And so you are going a close up of what we are going to do. You're gonna dip your paintbrush in some water and see this end? You're going to dip the paintbrush in there. Kind of in there, see? And then you're gonna bring it back out. And if your pants start to land that, say, pants, I need to do this from outside. So what Devin's doing, he is kind of stitching it together. And it looks more natural. It looks more like it's together. So then what you're going to do now that you've done that um, is you're going to take a bit more of the dark purple and just add a little bit, just not a lot, just like maybe a drop or two. Then you're going to swirl it together and make it darker, if only slightly. Now, remember, we only want it slightly darker because that means you don't have to stitch it as much. Um, see, mine's barely darker. You can't even really tell. So I'm going to need I'm gonna need to add a bit more dark purple. Um, and so what, a close-up of what it should look like, right now it should kind of look like this. So that is what it should close up look like. Tommy. So we are going to add more dark purple. purple. Dark purple. And eventually it'll become pure dark purple. Okay, so then we are going to add some more black. Stir it up and it should become even darker than before. Yep, it's really dark. Okay, wait. Um, if you have the stakes, now is when you're going to need to take out that tiny paintbrush uh, again. And you're going to need to be careful that you don't paint on the stake. But if you don't, you're just going to keep on painting all the way down. So we are almost done with this episode. We just need to paint all the way down. Oops. I messed up, unfortunately. But it's good to mess up. That means you learn from learned. it. You mess up, you learn. And I learned that I didn't dry it up enough. And so, you can do it. Oh, if you put your painting in a light, it looks really good. And now, are we going to do any more stitching, Devin? This is what a close-up, what it should look like right now. Okay, so we're going to paint the moon and stars and the trees. So first we are going to get some white, and then we'll tell us what we're going to do next. Before we actually start painting the moon and stars, what you need to do is you need to take your pencil. What you're going to do is you're going to sketch out where the moon's going to be. And so you know where to put the moon, and so... And also... I prefer it like to be like small. about... About like small and really thick, so it like pops out. That would be cool. I do big and really thick. Yeah. Um, then we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna sketch out the trees. Don't forget the um strategy for sketching out trees that I showed you in our cat parts. So 
So you humans mess up all the time. It's our greatest strength that or in our greatest weakness. And it's actually our greatest strength so we can learn. Yeah. Pause. Twenty on bars now. Uh oh. Okay, now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the trees. Remember, we want to use this paintbrush that we got last time, the one that has a diagonal head. It looks like this. And so you're going to get some black paint, and you are going to get it a bit wet. Dry paintbrushes almost never work. Yep. Especially on drying paint. And so now you are going to cover in the sketch that you made. I'm sure it looks good. Let me see. Nice oh, job. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Now Wait. we're on a video, Devin. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> He's a little kooky sometimes. Excusez-moi. <laughs> Now let me see your painting. Oh, nice, nice job. job! That looks so good. Okay. So you want to cut yours is so much paint. better than mine. It's okay, Devin. I like I like how yours. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so uh, road. <laughs> now stop, 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 Devin. Wait okay. on a video. Devin, you didn't tell him how to make the stars. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So what you do is you're just gonna. Put yeah, your, you're gonna get white paint, and you're just gonna blow it all dots. around. Dots all around. Mine's a very starry night. He likes stars. So, so satisfying to just pop them. Whoa, yours are big enough. <laughs> okay, when you're done, your painting should look something like this. Salt, salt. I guess salt um, helps it dry, and it also makes it. Um, more glittery and 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 um looks more like stars. So we usually like to add salt. Mine ours is quick drying, so it's already dry. So yeah, it's not gonna really work. Oh, the moon's still wet. Yeah, because we did a big blob, Devin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today's our grandma's birthday, so yes, to get going. Um, um, so thank you guys so much for like watching. Now. What Thank you guys so much. Um. <laughs> what it should look like is kind of like this. You can't see the salt, but it should kind of look like that. Or like this. So, uh, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching, okay. just for fun art. Um, Wait, we have something to show you. It's really, it's our dog. So, you, he's, Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Make sure. Frank says bye, bye.